well, if nothing else, it's a cut above the trading post. The gift box. What kind of a name's that for a flower shop? Only time will tell. Yeah, well, don't you think it'd be a good idea to give people a hint of what you're flogging? Well, I don't see a sign above your place saying dead horses. Do you know what? You'd be dead funny, you, if you were funny. <laughs> now, now, boys, boys. Six months' time, that name will be a byword for quality. We'll be packing them in. It's a of work for our heads, mate, but I can't see it working for the Mickey Mouse flower shop. What the hell's that? Oh, just something to keep the kids occupied. Well, expecting a crowd, are we? Well, we've advertised in the local radio, the Echo, and we've leafleted the whole area. Oh, leaflet, yeah, I got one of them through the door, thank you. You must have spent more on them than I do on a fortnight's stock. <laughs> well, you can't beat good PR. Oh, is that what you call it? It was known as cheap gimmicks in my day. I take it then you won't be bringing Josh to our Easter parade. Parade? I'd hardly call a bit of brown paper at the bouncy castle a parade. Oh, I think there's a bit more to it than that. Oh, well, I can't wait. <laughs> Run! While you're here, you've still got a set of spare keys for this place, haven't you? Yeah. It's not that we don't trust you, but, um... No, of course not. Thanks. You're very welcome. Yes, that one. What do you reckon? Oh, it's lovely. Would you think Rachel will like it? Yeah, if she ever gets to see it. Yeah, well, all I've got to do now is get her stuff down from her old room and she'll have a home from home. Great. And then I can start cracking on the baby's room. When is she coming back? When she's ready. Well, at least we know she's being looked after in the meantime. Yeah, that's something, I suppose. I'm Bing and Jean aren't soft. They're not going to want her there forever, are they? Well, they'll talk her into coming home soon. You watch. Tara! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> and that little number was from Patricia's Bay City roller face. <laughs> and Pop Stats really wore that stuff. Everyone did, as far as I can recall. What was that song they used to sing? Something about uh, Banger Gang, was it? She used to play that night and day. That and her David Essex LP. Now, he's still quite fit. Why, was he an athlete? I don't suppose any of this stuff is much use to you, really. Oh, no, it's interesting. I was thinking of doing history at night school next year. Don't let my poor daughter hear you say that. <laughs> oh, would you like this record player for your room? Well, does it still work? Well, I dare say if I had a look at it, yes. I'd just be a bit worried. About what? Well, leave it near a radiator or something. It looks like it might melt. Oh, well. <laughs> dare say we can put it to some use. Do you remember if it played 78s, dear? 70 watts? I think it can go back in the loft where it belongs. All in good time. Do you know, I've really got to have a proper look up there one of these days. It's a veritable treasure trove. Oh, oh, look at these shoes. Oh, the arguments we had over buying these shoes. And look at them, they're hideous. Actually, I think they're quite nice. You can't be serious. Yeah, they're dead trendy, them. Can I try them on? Feel free. I've got a big pair of flare pants. I think they go really well with them. They're all yours. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, some things never change. It's just like having Patricia at home all over again. Oh, talking of whom, I think we'd better get our skates on. We do not want to miss the grand opening. Right. Sure you don't want to there, Mum? Mm, you're OK. Don't want your allergy problem coming back. What allergy's this? <laughs> the one he's got to hard work. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to a man who practically runs a nightclub single-handed. Oh, are you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you, as soon as Barry Grant gets back and sees how smooth it's all been going, I'll be quids in. Good, because we're going to need a few more bob coming in once Junior arrives. I'm glad you brought the baby up one. Yeah? Who's that? Because Lee was wondering. No, we both were here. Come on, spit it out. Well, what are the sleeping arrangements going to be? Well, you're going to have to toss to see who gets the top bunk. I'm not sleeping with him. The feeling's mutual. God knows what he gets up to after lights out. What are you talking about? All I'm saying is you're a prime candidate for repetitive strain injury. Oh, get knotted. Come on, pack it in the bed, have you? Can't we get a lock conversion or something? <laughs> what, with Scotch mist? I'm not sharing a bunk with him. Yeah, well, you're going to have to like it or lump it. I hope you two aren't giving your mother a hard time. That's it. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what's it look like? Get down, now. Oh. Hey! Hey! 
down. Look, Eddie, look, the crack sod. Uh, you... I think it's you that needs your marbles checking. What's the balance in acting aid of? Nothing. And as for Tweedledee and Tweedledum here, eh? look, your mother's pregnant. Any chance of getting off your spotty backsides and giving her a hand? I offered. Well, offering's not good enough. Right, as of today, the three of us can start pulling our weight. Give your mum a chance to pull her feet up. I don't want to pull my feet up. Any objections? Yeah, just one or two. Lads? No. No. Good. Right. Looks like I'm on cupboard duty. Keeping any of this palaver. Here we go, Thomas. And since when has juggling been part of the Easter parade? Oh, shut up, Ron. Looking good. Kiss for luck. Mm. Right, here goes nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for coming today. Hope you're all having a good time. It gives me great pleasure to announce the gift box officially open. And if you'd like to join us for a glass of Easter plonk, then there's some inside. And some cream eggs for our younger customers. Do come in. All of taps are splendid, Patsy. Yes, it's Cheers. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was meant to be a bloody florist. There was one. Okay. You managed to get some care? I do. Was it all right? I don't have a nightmare. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mate. It was horrible. It won't last for much longer, you know. All I could see is Gary's face going into a black hole. Then we were throwing soil all over him. Then we were laughing our heads off. It doesn't mean anything, Celeste, and it will pass. I'm scared to go to sleep, Dad. Yeah, I know. Listen, uh, you want to come have a nose at Farnham's shop? It's got a fire eater and all kinds down there, you know. You go. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you've seen one fire eater, you've seen them all, haven't you? I think I'll hang around here and make us some dinner, eh? And fives ten. Thank you very much. Not bad for a pair of rank amateurs, eh? So, um, what happened to the flowers? Fresh and dried flowers are just two of the range of enticing products that make up the Aladdin's Cave that is the gift box. Aladdin's Cave? Looks more like the wizard's den. Sorry. Who do you think you're kidding? All you've got to use is a glorified 50p shop, nothing more. I'll see you. Look what the wind's blown in. Oh, my God. All right, gang? Well, I'm impressed. Patsy, darling, would you mind terribly if I slipped away? Not at all, Dad. Why, where are you going? In search of the latest hip cats on the hip parade. Want to get a few knickknacks for our new lodgers. We'll brighten it up a little. Fine. Well, bye, my darling. Well done. Splendid. See you at home, dear. Not a bad setup, this, eh? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Let's see what you've gone for. I mean, when you think about it, not much different from when I had my shop here. Do you remember? Cowboy cuts. How could we forget? Little gold mine it was. Just like get blew it up. And talking of pet cats, your father and I have had a fascinating morning rummaging through the loft. What for? We decided to give Rachel a tour of your early teens. Oh, no, not the Bay City roller suit. <laughs> Among other things, including that. David Cassidy, your first love. Oh, you were gorgeous, though. Um, that'll be two pounds, please. 
Thank you. So things do seem to be back on an even keel between you and Dad? Well, we've reached an agreement. He does what I tell him. So you think it'll be OK? As long as he behaves himself. Mm. What's it been like with Rachel around? She's been like a breath of fresh air. You know, Mum, you were at a death's door just a few weeks ago, and what with that and coping with Dad's uh, misdemeanours, don't you think you should be taking it easy? There is plenty of time to take it easy when I am pushing up the daisies. Fair enough. But, Mum, I should be careful on the Rachel front. I mean, if Mandy and Beth are sent to prison, you could be left with little orphan Annie for keeps. You're very quiet. The cupboards are sorted. Oh, ta. And what are you up to now? Your life's about to become a whole lot easier. Girl, here we go. Oh, no, you don't know what I've done yet. All right, then. Reveal all. Right, well, this is a housework and also for me and the lads. We each do different shifts, depending on who's around, and we take turns on each job so no one can moan they've been lumbered with cleaning the bog every week. I am more than capable of cleaning my own bog. I know that, love. I also know you're stubborn as a mule. Look, I appreciate you wanting to muck in. And if I don't stick me all in now, you'll end up working yourself to a standstill. Dad, I'm pregnant, not paralysed. Why don't you just lie back and enjoy being a lady of leisure? Because well, I'll be bored, Richard, after a week. Don't you want me to look after you? We look after each other, don't we? Yeah, but, I mean, you might as well start winding down now. I mean, you'll be packing your job in in a couple of months anyway. Say so. I'm not having you traipsing in the streets out here somewhere. What happens if you give some angry at a ticket and he digs you? I'll work as long as I want to work. And after I've had the baby, I'll be going back sharpish. <sighs> you missed your vocation, you. You should have been a kamikaze pilot. You got to pack your job in, then, to look after the baby? Exactly. Look, I'm sorry, love, but... I had to wait years before the lads were old enough for me to go out and, well, earn a few bob for myself. This time round, it's going to be different. I'm not bothered about the job, love. I'm just worried about your health. So you keep saying. Then let me make an appointment for you at the Quacks, and then I'll shut me go. Already done it, Ed. When? Two minutes ago. I'm seeing someone this heavy. Oh. See? I am capable of running my own life. Yeah, well, uh, I'll uh, just put the lads straight on this rosé. Carl! Lee! Oh, God, give me strength. What do you think of these, then? <laughs> a bit better than most of this stuff. I know. They're dead naff, aren't they? Yeah, just thank God I wasn't a kid in the 70s. Anyone at home? In here. How did you get on? Well, I had to do a fair amount of research, but mission accomplished. Where is she? In her room. Lee came over to see her. You left them in there alone together? David. They are going through Patricia's old things, not having an orgy. Jean, really? <laughs> Looking at the pair of them, I'd say that it was Lee that needed the chaperone. <laughs> so what's it like living here, then? Better than over the road. At least they don't treat me like an overgrown kid. Come in. Sorry to disturb you. It's all right. Hello, Lee. All right. Rachel. I've managed to lay my hands on a couple of posters from a local record store. Thought they might brighten up your room a bit. Yeah? I had to interrogate a somewhat taciturn youth with rather frightening orange hair for the best part of half an hour. Once I worked out how to decipher his primeval grunts, he was really quite helpful. Um, who are they of, exactly? Ah, one of America's leading exponents of, um, is it grunge music? Oh, great. Right, shall I get the blue tech? Um, no, no, you're okay. I'll um, I'll put them on myself later. Right. Not such an old fogey after all, eh? No, not at all. Right. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Oh no! <laughs> Grunge. What did they get? Some kind of sad smelly. <laughs> no way can I put these up. All right. How's stock take going? Nearly done. Good lad. Didn't hand down the old sailors as well. No, you're all right, son. Anything else you need doing? No, you might as well have a boat for half an hour. Oh, sound great. Fancy a brew? Yeah, it's all right. Good, this, innit? What? Working as a team. Yeah, yeah. Mean machine, eh, kid? Yeah, you say so. 
Right, see. Hey, listen, Carl. Uh, you couldn't do us a favour while you're out, could you? What? Drop this in a minute for us, will you? Is it on the way? Yeah, yeah. Address is on the front. Same place as before. That all right? For you, partner. Anything. Cheers, Carlo. See you later, then. Yeah. See you. Hungry? Oh, starving. Right. Better rustle up some rations, then, haven't we? Any special requests? Whatever. How does uh, good old beef stew and dumpling sound? Oh, lovely. Good. Um, will I have time to go over to Mum's before tea? Plenty. Why? I thought I'd bring the rest of my clothes back over here, if that's all right with you. Fine. Thanks. And Rachel? Yeah? You don't have to put those posters up if you don't want to. Why not? They're dead good. No, I'm afraid my tangerine-haired anarchist gave me a bum steer. There's nothing wrong with them, honest. It's just that we're well, not really into that sort of stuff. Made a bit of a hash of it, didn't I? Oh, as if. It was dead kind of you. Same as everything you, Mrs. Crosby, have done for me. You've treated me like, well, like part of your family. I'm dead grateful. I really am. Yeah, looks the part now, doesn't he? Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, do you fancy going over to the Farnham's new shop later on and we pick up a couple of potted plants with those chest of drawers? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll get it. Hello? Yeah? Picture was cockeyed. Who was he? It was a solicitor. They've set a date for the court. The trial starts in three weeks. Congratulations. Being our 232nd customer, may I present you with a chocolate? Uh, no, thanks. Oh. oh, well, what about our 233rd? Yeah, all right, mate, just a while ago. <laughs> all right, Sim. All right, mate. So how's business going? Booming. Right. Do you do any potted plants? If so, I would like to look to the left. Oh, sir. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so what do you reckon? To what? And these? Oh, OK. So, uh, I was expecting Mum, then. Ah, uh, she's sound, Sammy. He's told me about this famous nursery's designer, you know. you think he was painting the Sistine Chapel the way he's been going on about it. <laughs> yeah, he was it, you. <laughs> so what do you fancy, then? Girl or a boy? Um, excuse me. Oh, so the, uh, the dates come through for the trial and it's doing a head How's she like that? I'll go, love. Let's get my coat off first, eh? Well, what did he say? It was a she. And she told me what I suppose I've known all along. Gonna be in for a fine time. I've gotta have extra scans, extra blood tests, extra everything. And all because I'm a couple of weeks the wrong side of 40. Good, that's how it should be. Do you want to hear the punchline? Go on. I'm gonna have to cancel the holiday. You kidding? Are they? It's not like that. I'm not like what? Your room, you don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. You've never cared what happened to me or my dad. You couldn't wait to get rid of the pair of us. Why don't you just stab me too and be done with it? Right, you. Get off! Come here. Sinbad. 
Yeah. That's how much your mum hates you. She's had all the extension decorated for you in the hope that you'll come home one day. And all your stuff's in there as well. And am I meant to be grateful? Am I? That you're shoving me in some garage so you two can play happy families upstairs? <sighs> I give up. Well, I'm packing up. Excuse me. Back already? Yeah, I didn't get much from the wholesalers. The bungled sort on the price of the ale. So I thought I'd have a scout round somewhere else, see if I can get a better deal. Good idea. Did you uh, manage to see me, mate? Certainly did. He asked me to give you this. Oh, right. Nice. Anything interesting? Well, if you like a bet, yeah. We swap info on the horses, you know. Form guides and that. Have you got any good tips? You'll be the first to hear, kid. <laughs> Sucker. Please, Rach, don't go. I want you to come home. Excuse me. You can't go. Why not? Because things have changed. Like what? The date for the trial's come through. When is it? Next month. So we've got things to sort out. What do you mean? If the worst does come to the worst and they lock me up. Your mum wants you to live with me. What? This is your home and it always will be. I'd rather live with the Yorkshire Ripper than stay here with you. Please. You seriously expect me to live with your boyfriend? In the house where you killed my dad? The pair of you are mental. I'm never setting foot in this place again. And after the trial, if it's anything to do with me, you won't either. What do you mean? You'll just have to wait and see. Channel 4 book, The Jimmy Corkhill Story, is available now, priced £4.99 from bookshops. Uh, no, just, uh, just looking. Thank you. Hey, Rosie, love. Yeah? How about these 50p? Hey, I've got enough to do without getting down on my hands and knees with a scrubbing brush. Thanks very much. How are you, love? Hello. Hiya, love. Hey, have you seen we got a sale on? Dozens of items for less than a quid. Oh, I only wanted a few bits, thanks. So what's the latest, then? Sorry? Uh, I mean, you know, with the baby. Oh, uh, it's fine. Um, I've just had my first scan. Oh, have you got a picky? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, well. Go on, man. Oh. Oh, oh, God, it's amazing, isn't it? God, everything's changed since I had my two. Well, it must be the same for you. Fancy us being pregnant at our age. This is nothing. Wait till later when they can tell if it's a girl or a boy, you know, when mm -hmm. you've had your amnia. Uh, will they be able to tell us who's going to get pregnant next? Must be something in the water down here, eh? <laughs> 
You know, when the doctor took those samples, I was convinced it was me who was pregnant. It must have been yours, Rosie. I'd love another baby, you know. Uh, you can forget about that one, madam. I think that's a definite now. <laughs> you won't be wanting any tips from uh, Sinbad and Edgy, then? Uh, no, I don't think so, girls. I've done my bit on the fatherhood side. One more amount of feeding me, me working my guts out for even longer. It would be a life sentence. I'm sorry, love. I didn't, I didn't mean that. It's all right. Could have put that better, couldn't I? You don't know what to say, though, do you? You sure I can't interest you in any of this lot, love? Mm. Oh, that, yeah, actually, that's a new line, that, Rosie. Yeah, uh, fancy perfume draw liners. Thought I'd go up market a bit, you know. Rosie, uh, Patricia's ordered those draw liners you wanted. They'll be here Friday. Uh, right, well, um, Ron's got them now. Well, that's hardly the point. What about good faith? Ah, but the customer always comes first, Maxie. Now, if you had my years of experience, you'd know that. Anyway, I just happen to have them in stock. Hmm, really? Seems to me you've deliberately stolen one of Patricia's stock ideas. Maybe I, sh I should just stick to the ones I ordered. No, no, love, you buy off who you want. What's going on? He's undercutting you on a line of yours that he's copied, those draw liners. Uh, it's called competition, actually. Surely you two are not frightened of a little healthy competition in a free market economy. Smacks to me of illegal competition. I have a good mind to look into this. I agree. Well, you could always try the shopkeeper's committee. What shopkeeper's committee? The one that I've just started for the benefit of the community. Our modest row of shops. You can always apply to join, but uh, you'll have to go to the vote. Hi, hi, Banksy. You're keen, aren't you, kid? Yeah, I just saw some of these lights. He said some of them needed replacing. Oh, right, yeah. So I'll nip into town and get some from the old sailors, all right? Sure, yeah. Why are you nipping into town? Yeah. And when were you thinking of going, like? Sorry. You couldn't uh, go a bit earlier, could you? Well, I was going to sort out the stock room before the ale delivery comes and the spirits order at dinner time. Yeah, I know, but if you went a bit sooner, you could drop something off for me, couldn't you? A favour, like, mate. It'll do later, won't it, mate? Well, I'd sooner it went now. Here. Same place as last week. Go on, you do it. I'm expecting a call from Barry, aren't I? Here, take it. Aren't you going to cut me in on this? What? This is horse racing stuff, isn't it? Form guides and that. Don't I get a chance to put a few bob on your next big tip? That sort of info costs money, kid. I don't give it away. Here, take it. And have this for your trouble there. Cheers. Hey, I want you on your way now. All right, I'm going. Thanks, mate. How am I supposed to find anything out of? I mean, surely all the papers for the business are going to be in the shop, not the house. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open, that's all. You never know what you find. Oh, hello, love. Hey. You're looking very smart. Are you going somewhere special? Yep. Just up for a job interview, assistant manager at the leisure centre. Oh, that's great, love. I made up for you. Well, I haven't actually got the job, Dad. It's only an interview. But still. Yeah, well, you've got a really good chance, haven't you? She got a card allowance if she gets the job. Great. One pound eighty-nine. Eh, uh, no, no. They're on the house there if they're for an interview. Call her a good luck, Prezi, eh? No, Dad. I prefer to pay, thanks. Hey, if you're going to be driving, perhaps I should start giving you some lessons. Um, I'll find my own lessons, Dad. See ya. Good luck. Why won't she forgive me over her mother? Easter so I can leave. I'm not going back. Do you think that's a good idea? You've got your GCSEs next term. I don't want to do them. Look, the last five years of school have been leading up to these exams. You can't just not do them. There's no point, Mr Crosby. I've missed loads and loads of what happened and everything. I just failed them all anyway. But the teachers at your new school know your situation. They'll make allowances for what's happened and what you've missed. No. I've got to get a job. After the trial, there'll be no one to look after me, so I have to get some money and somewhere to live. 
I don't need to do exams. Why not at least sit them? And if you do fail, then you can leave. There's no point. Rachel, there's every point. You're a bright girl. You're too clever to throw away a chance like this. You could go to university in due course like your sister. All the more reason not to, then. Damn and blast. I'm sorry to bother you, but can I have a word with Rachel? Yes, yes, of course. Rachel, come in, Mandy. Thank you. Rachel? Rachel? I don't want to see you. <gasps> Rachel! Might be best if we don't force her. I only wanted to show her this. I think it's something to do with a new school. Uh, Rachel, your mother's brought round a letter. Couldn't you at least come out and read it? Rachel, won't you come out, please? Rachel? Rachel, stop! David, she's gone out the window! Rachel? <laughs> Aye, aye, that was quick, kid. Right, that's it. I'm all severe. I'm taking what I'm holding them off. What's all this about? Do you think you're playing her? You had no vice opening that. Yeah, well, it's a good job I did, isn't it? Otherwise, I might have been the dickhead who was caught wandering around town with half a ton of smack down me kicks. Carl. Carl, don't be hasty, eh? Leave me alone. Can't we talk? No, there's nothing to talk about. There's enough ferrying drugs around for anyone. I want out. Look, just cool down, will you? Let me explain. No, I was made up with this job. I didn't know Barry was into drug dealing. Otherwise, I'd have told him to stick it. This is down to me. It's my sideline, this. Maybe I should tell him then. Well, no. You don't say a word to anyone. Not a single word. If he knew, he'd shot me and start trouble. And if my customers found out, there'd be real violence. Big time stuff. Understand? It's every people I deal with. And they don't like interrupted supplies. So you keep on working here and you don't say a word to anyone. Repeat, anyone. Because if you open your mouth and I end up writing it, I'll take you down with me. All right? All right. <laughs> Thank God I didn't hit it. Oh, God, what was she playing at? Running in the road like that? No, I don't know. Some sort of row with her mum again, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that'll soon mend. Yeah. What about the bike? How's that? Oh, nothing serious. Just a broken headlamp, broken mirror. Anyway, it's going. What? I'm flogging it. What's brought this on? It's the baby, love. The baby? Yeah, that bike's too powerful. And the way the roads are these days, it's always at the back of my mind now. What if I had an accident to stop me from working? Or what if I got killed on it? Oh, don't say things like that. I know, but it's something I've been thinking about. And what happened out there just before could have been much worse. No, that decided it for me. It's going. You really sure about this? I mean, you need other interests outside work. You love that bike. Nah, I just need to grow up. And anyway, I'll have plenty to interest me when I get my new daughter. <laughs> What's all this? Who said anything about it being a girl? That's what I want. Even if she leads us to dance when we're in our 50s. <laughs> people tell me they're more trouble than that, you know. Well, I'll take my chances. Fingers crossed for a girl, eh? That's what you want. You sure about selling this bike? Yeah. Oh, anyway, I've got the Al James for tinkering about with. Yeah, well, a James is not a Harley, is it? I've made me mind up, Rose. Get a plaster for that, me. I'm sure we shouldn't have found the police. What if she's run off to London again? I don't think she has. I have an idea where she may be. Where? Down at the Albert Dock. We've been there a few times just recently and she was very taken with it. Well, what if she isn't? Then we'll phone the police. I'll come with you. No. I'm sorry, Mandy. It's just that I think it would be best if I went on my own. 
please. People was getting tangled. Well, I'd sooner you didn't touch the facts, thank you, Bev. Well, I mean, it's got to be dusted. Yes, well, I think we'll be moving it to the shop now. All right. One last thing to clean, eh? I'll start in the bathroom. Right. <clears throat> this is confirmation of an order you gave that company in London. Do you think she's read it? Well, what if she has? What good's this to Ron Dixon? Well, he's already copied some of your lines. Look. Don't you think it's time we gave Bev her notice? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Max. I'm going to need her even more when we expand. Don't you think it's a little early talking about expansion? I mean, we are in there under false pretenses. I mean, what if Barry decides to evict us? Well, why should he? He's coming back to rent. Anyway, what if he does? We'll just find new premises. Oh, Max, please don't lose interest now. Not when it's all going so well. Hello, Rachel. Thought I might find you here. I like this place. Oh, so do I. I, uh, I didn't tell you when we were here last time, when Mrs. Crosby was with us, that, uh, I used to come here myself years ago. Did you? Oh, yes, yes, when I, uh, had a few things to sort out in my mind, you know, uh, needed a bit of time on my own, away from people who were trying to tell me what to do. When you're my age? Well, a little older, perhaps. <laughs> Bet you can't believe I was ever a teenager, eh? Oh, yes, I had my problems too, you know? My father died when I was young, during the war, and I didn't always get on with my mother. What was it like then, here, I mean? Oh, it was amazing, Rachel. Thriving, bustling ports, huge numbers of ships, all the great ocean liners. No TV studio or shops or cafes in those days. Oh, I loved it. Loved watching all the activity. I'd have a bit of a think and then I'd go back home. Won't you speak to your mum? I'll come back to yours, but I don't want to speak to her. Promise me I won't have to speak to her, I don't want to. Really isn't very fair to you, no, Rachel. She's only trying... I want you to promise, Mr Crosby, please. No more running away, then. I promise. All right. I promise, too. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, and before you ask, I didn't get it. Oh, they know. Did he tell you why? Well, he didn't have to. That little pencil neck nice old beast he got it. Oh, the creep. Oh, yeah. Well, he must have done some real bum sucking to get this. He's gonna be a disaster, and no one can do the job as good as him, if not better. Well, maybe he won't last. Then you can have another go. Oh, no way. You can forget it. I'm leaving. Oh, don't be daft. Wait till something else turns up. Yeah, you, you can't afford to leave. Oh, well, I've got some money saved up. Oh, enough to pay the gas bill, the 140 quid phone bill. They turned up today. Oh, God, I'm sick of this never having any money. I'll end up like my dad, always worrying about this bill and that bill. I've <sighs> got this job. It's been laughing. Oh, it's not fair. I had all sorts of ideas, like starting aerobic sessions and that. Oh, yeah? Where's these aerobic sessions that... Oh, it's not gonna happen now. She didn't get the job. Oh, no need to rub it in. Oh, well, you should start your own. You used to love the one they had at the comp, but they closed it down. Hey, I never thought of that. Yeah, well, give us a shout if you do. We can get this into shape before, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> See you, See you. See you. Where do you think you're gonna hold an aerobic session? In our kitchen? Well, you must be able to find somewhere. Where? Um. Anyone fancy a drink at the club when I finish, do you? Well, it's a bit different from the usual stuff I put on my window. Can't see anybody around here buying a Harley Davidson. Well, I'll try for a week, Rob. Uh, there you go, mate. 50p. 
Cheers. Why are you selling it anyway? I thought you doted on that thing. Polishing it up every weekend. Oh, don't tell me. Another sprog on the way, and the missus here has put the block on the big boy's toys. Run. Won't admit it, will he? It's Eddie's idea to sell the bike. I think he's making a mistake. All right. Hiya. All right, mate. Hey, Ron. Uh, I was wondering if you could put that up for us, mate. What's this? Oh, Gary sold some Memorial football match. Oh, that's a nice idea. Do you think so? Well, I've got to do something to book our Leo up. He's a bit of a, well, you know, withdrawn. You know, since Gary's funeral. Oh, poor kid. Must hit him hard at that age when a mate dies. Thank yeah. God Ali seems to have got over it. Yeah. So it's a kind of testimonial then, mate? Yeah, we're going to make a collection for Gary's mum, you know. Oh, well, Addy and Ali would go, wouldn't you? Yeah. Of course we would. When is it? It's four o'clock at the school footy field tomorrow. Oh, well, I can make that. Oh, and I'll see you there then. Great. Yeah. See you, Ron. See, see you, Ron. See you, Rose. So, I, Rose. So, I, Ed. So, what about you then, Ron? Are you able to come? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind, Mick. And, uh, tell you what. Call that the first donation, eh? 20 quid? But OTT, innit? You know? Yeah, well, it can go with an apology, can't it? Look, Mick, I'm sorry for what I said when that virus thing was going around. It was a bloody stupid thing to say. And, well, to be honest with you, I don't really know what we'd have all done without you there to organise us. Yeah, well, we're all scared out of our heads, weren't we? Thanks, Ron. Pleasure. See you. Sit down, Mick. Speak to her, you promised. No, no, it's all right. I'll keep that promise, don't worry. Here, you go on inside. Okay. Is she all right? Yes, yes, she's fine. But I'm afraid she doesn't want to talk to anyone just now. I'd like to see her. Mandy, please, bear with me. I'll try and talk her around. You let me know what happened. Yes, yes, of course. Just leave it with me. All right. Who was that? Just a mate. Why? Well, you've got to be careful who you're talking to, haven't you? In case you go shooting your mouth off. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. That's me. Yeah. Well, you just keep on being a wise little monkey. All right. Are you already? That's what Cork, I wanted to know, but I'm not telling you. Listen, I might just put his nose out this week. That guy can get me cup price imported lager, bottle stuff. I reckon I can say Barry a few hundred a month. It's not knockoff, is it? I ain't joking, he brings it over from France and it's funny, man. I'm nearly into this club management stuff. You mean assistant club management? I'm just go on the box. See you in a minute. Carl, I've been looking for you for ages. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I need a favour. I want to start some aerobic classes, and this place would be ideal for afternoon sessions. Nah, I don't know. We already have some old fogies club in a couple of afternoons. Oh, well, should I ask Jimmy Corkle? Is he in charge? No, leave it to me. Barry left me to look after things. So maybe we can discuss it later over a drink. Well, I do afternoon now, though, otherwise I might have to go somewhere else. I suppose it'd be all right. Well, I do have to know for definite. I mean, I would be able to give you some of the takings if it all works out. All right. Start when you like. We'll finish by about five. All right. Thanks. Oh, yeah. See you later, Jack. Yeah, definitely. You said Jack then, does he? Oh, what do you think? But if he thinks the deal includes me, he can go and whistle the mug. I'm going to make a go with this. I'm going to make big money. Dad? Mm hmm Do you think we'll make lots of money for Gary's mum? We can only do our best, son. Are you sure you like the idea of the scheme? Yeah, it's a real idea. You sure not? Gary would be made up. I mean, his own testimonial. Yeah, he would, wouldn't he? 
I'd love the idea of that. Dad, do you think it'd be all right me wearing Gary's team shirt? Yeah, of course it would. Let's make it a day to remember it. Rachel, that letter's still there for you. Why don't you open it? What's it say? Is it something about your new school? No. Say something about the Crown Court. Oh, can you understand it? Say something about a solicitor. you to appear as a witness with the prosecution. They want you to give evidence against your mother and sister. I bet it's them lies they told the police. What lies? I don't really want to say. Rachel, please, this is important. Tell me what it's all about. They said bad things about my dad. Horrible things. My dad wouldn't do those things. What things? Well, this, they told the police that my dad got into bed with me and did things to me, you know. They said he did it to Beth as well, but it's not true. It's all lies. My dad never did anything like that to me. They just, they just made it up. Ten thirty on Friday. Yes, that's fine. Right, thank you. Bye. So, the solicitor doesn't mind us going with her then? Well, obviously it's Rachel they really want to see, but uh, as she's under eighteen, they don't object to temporary guardians going along with her. I'm just going over to Lee to see about this football match I'm playing in for Gary. When is it? Um, on the school field at four. See you later. Oh, Rachel, you better take a key. Mrs. Crosby and I will be at the shop. Why are you coming? Well, you were looking a little tired last night. I don't want you overdoing it again. Very well. But I decide when I've had enough, all right? Yes, dear, of course. Good. See ya. Oh, Rachel, David phoned about that letter you had. We have to go and see the solicitors Friday morning. If that's all right with you. I mean, if you feel that I'll you... I'll do what the police said and tell the truth. That's the spirit. What is the truth, though? I don't know. But the idea of that Jordash man laying his filthy hands upon a young girl is... Well, maybe he didn't. I mean, well, why should she lie? Maybe she's telling the truth and Beth and Mandy just made it up to, well, gain the sympathy vote of the jury. I certainly wouldn't put it past young Madam Beth. Now, that is blind prejudice and you know it. Jean, I don't know what to think. I just can't bear the idea of her being abused by that loathsome individual. For her sake, I just hope to God it never happened. You won't stop this one. Go ahead. No. 
How's that? Hey, one game run. Makes no difference, mate. You still missed it. Hey, Leo, good job you and all fellas are playing this afternoon, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Here you go, sub. Oops. <laughs> good job we didn't ask him to be sub, eh, Lee? <laughs> Nick, uh, I was wondering if you'd made any arrangements about refreshments for half-time, like... I hadn't thought about that. Well, look, how about if I come down with a stack of butties and a few cans of pop and what have you? Oh, that's great, that one. I mean, there's nothing in it for me. All proceeds to Gary's mum's collection and that. Right, that's brilliant. Do you hear that, Lee? Mr. Dixon's gonna bring some butties for half-time. Oh, thanks, Mr. Dixon. Hello, Ping, Jean. Hello there. Hey, you just make sure you play a blinder, do you hear? He will. See you, Ron. ta -da, mate. Now, Jean! Never thought I'd see the day when you'd leave me to work for the competition. So much for loyalty, eh? I hope you're not suggesting anything untoward, Ron. I mean, it is family. I'm just a humble wage slave. Another day, another dollar, eh? Hopefully my daughter can do a little better than that. Well, we'll see, Bing. We'll see. Hiya. Hiya. Man, have you got Rudolph? Loads. I'm just going to go round the close. Oh, we hope everyone could read my handwriting. Your fingers are dropping off. Didn't finish writing them all till half two this morning. Oh, they'll be fine. Anyway, good luck with it. I'll see you tonight. Um, what do you mean? The session starts this afternoon. You're in on this as well, you know. Well, I thought I was just going to help you post these flyers. I'm no expert on step aerobics. Yeah, but I want you to save the sessions. It'll sound much better if we can say you've got a trained answer doing them. Yeah, but... Hey, I don't want something for nothing. I will pay you. I thought eight quid a session, as long as you get a good turnout. Eight pounds? No long session, are you sure? Yes or no? You're all right, you're on. I'm just going to post the rest of these. All right, thanks, Ra. Hiya. Hiya, love. Oh, I wish you'd change your mind over this. Too late now, love. I've just put an advert into one of my tech hope. Oh, no. Hey, are you going to be around if someone calls about the card and gets uh, hey, render? don't be asking me to sell it. Right, hey. Even if someone turns up with ten grand in a suitcase, I'm not letting it go. Never mind ten. If he brings four and a half in a suitcase, buys his hand off. Rosie. Oh, hiya, love. There you go. What's all this, hey? Aerobic classes. Oh, she's done it. Yeah, to your right. Done what? Jackie Dixon's starting an exercise class at your car's club. Oh, well, I'm sure next door will be one into that, love. Mm. Getting fit for the court case, like. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Forgot Rachel's in the house. Is she all right? Bright as a button. They're going to this footy match and mix. I'm going myself, remember? Yeah, well, don't come back expecting this to be so. Oh, now, come on, love. You know it's the sensible thing to do. Oh, well, it's not always best to do the sensible thing. I mean, you love this bike. Think of all the good times we've had, eh? The Ogfest every year, going down to Wales and that. I don't need four grand's worth of bike to enjoy life. And we've got better things to look forward to now, haven't we? And I've got bigger responsibilities. I've got to grow up. I know, but I know how you'll miss it. I mean, it's a big part of your life. Yeah. Just like my new daughter. Hmm. <laughs> for heaven's sake, Patsy, how many more? Oh, no worries. This is the last for the time being. Oh, here, yeah, let me take them. No, oh, Mum, I'll take them. Why don't you have a breather? When is everyone going to stop fussing and treating me as though I'm still at death's door? I hope you don't mind my asking, but uh, don't you think you might be in danger of getting just a little bit uh, overstocked here? David, it is none of your business. Well, why do you say that? Well, it's just that from where I'm standing, there's a lot more boxes of stock coming through that door than there are customers. I mean, since Jean and I arrived, you've only had a couple of people in and, well, they neither of them bought anything, did they? Take no notice, you two. Well, you have to speculate to accumulate. Yeah, it is early days, David. Yes, yes, you're, you're quite right. I suppose I'm just getting a bit anxious, that's all. And as your mother quite rightly points out, uh, it's none of my business, and she's the boss. Exactly. Right, I'm off. I'll look in later to take the money to the night set. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, the Rogers girl put this through the letterbox earlier. Step aerobics at the club. <laughs> aerobics, as if I didn't get enough exercise running around after you. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Well, when is it? I've never done step aerobics. It's this afternoon. Should we give it a try? Your father can mind the shop. Oh, for God's sake, woman. You nearly died a few weeks ago. What the hell do you want to do aerobics for? I'm very much alive at the moment, and I think I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions. Should we try it? Oh, I suppose so. I'll see you there. See you later. Hi. Hiya, thanks. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Lee. Hiya. All set for the football match? Yeah, I'm doing the collection. And I'm going to score a hat-trick. Good. How's your father's motorbike? Is it badly damaged? Just a few scratches. He's decided to sell it. Really? 
Yeah, Mum says he'll regret it. He must be mad. It's brill, that bike. Well, it wouldn't have been so brilliant if it hit you, would it? Well, thank heavens it didn't. Shame has decided to sell it. No one will look after it as well as your father does, Lee. Yeah, he's dead sick about it. But he says he's got to cause a new baby. You should get a good price for it. Almost wish I could buy it myself. David. Would you? That'd be ace, that, wouldn't it, Lee? Eddie almost killed Rachel with that bike. What would you want with it? Well, the wind in your hair, the open road. It's a superb piece of mechanical engineering, that bike. Oh, David. Why don't you come and have a look at it? Well, would that be all right with you, dear? A look. Oh, come on, Mr. Crosby. I'll just get my coat. OK. I think Jean and David should have told me. Told you what? Told me what was in that letter for Rachel. Especially if it's from a new school. I mean, she's got exams this summer. Look, if it's important, they'll let you know. And isn't it more important that Bing tries to tell her to come home? I just wish you'd let me know what's going on. Rachel was in such a state yesterday. Right. What's that? It's all right. It's just a flyer. Somebody's starting to aerobic classes at Lelouth and it starts today. Shall we go? I thought you had revision. Well, I, have, I can do that later. Oh, please, can we go? It'll be a change. Well, is it safe? I mean, you've been a couple of months gone on that. Well, she'll be all right. She tastes easy. Well, I don't know, you know, Beth. It's a bit risky. So mad. You can't wrap her up in cotton wool just because she's pregnant. God's sake, I don't want to go to aerobics classes. We're facing a trial in two weeks' time. My youngest daughter runs a mile the minute she sees me. Shouldn't we be talking about what we're going to tell the solicitor on Friday, not stupid aerobics? What else is there to tell her? Well, what about this? Are we going to tell her about the baby? No. Why not? Because we've got to keep it to ourselves. I mean, these barristers could make something of that. I mean, your dad gets killed, I buy this house, then your mum gets pregnant by me. It looks great, doesn't it? He's right, Beth. This whole discussion's pointless. The whole close knows you're pregnant. You're just worrying about nothing. All we've got to do is tell the truth. Why are you selling it, exactly? Ah, oh, lots of reasons, I suppose. Nearly killing this young lady with it, didn't I? Sorry. Ah, oh, forget it, love. So, you're interested, Dave? Oh, you'd look after it, wouldn't you, Mr. Crosby? Yes, yes, of course I would, but, uh... There is just the small question of the money. Eh, hey, you could buy me a new computer if you bought it. Aye, aye, hang on. Well, I was thinking of asking about four for it, but if you could come up with three and a half... Oh, bite, Mr Crosby, please. I know it's a lot of money, Dave, but I wouldn't want it to go to some cowboy. And at least I'd know it wasn't far away, being well looked after, and then I could always come and visit. <laughs> please. Well, I was wondering what Jean would say. Oh, come on now, Dave. Who wears the keks in your house? Who makes the decisions? Mum doesn't ask. Well, it'd be brilliant if you bought it, Mr. Crosby. It's five pounds, please. Um, can you get change in the ladies' toilets? Thanks. How's it going? Oh, I've already got 30 quid in. Well, how much are you charging? It's 2 50 a session, but I'm offering 10 lessons for 15 pounds and discounts if you're paying off front like. And I'm only getting eight quid a time. Yeah, well, you would have people that money money off, would you? Yeah, I know, but I mean... Oh, Casey, it was my idea. Don't forget, try and get them to sign off for ten sessions if you can. I'll just come sort the music off. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. This is very enterprising. Whose idea was it? Well, it was mine, actually. <laughs> so you did it then, love? Don't know if I should be asking for a bit of commission, though. I don't think so. <laughs> Splendid piece of machinery, isn't it? You've actually gone and bought it. Ace, isn't it, Mrs. Crosby? I can think of another word to describe the man who bought it. I waited on over East and I thought I'd boot myself in for yeah. some of this physical jerk stuff. That's what you want. Well, I heard about this place and well, I wanted to pop in and see how my daughter was doing. 
Well, it's going all right. Good. Oh, my Tommy, about the job, love. I'm sorry, is that why you're doing this? Because you're skint. Dad, I just want to make a few extra bob, that's all. But, Jackie, if you're really stuck, I can almost let you have I some... I don't want any handouts, all right, Dad? Yeah, well, I just thought... Oh, that... there's no need, because I can look after myself. Right. Well, we'll get out your way, then. Let you get on with it. Good luck, love. Yeah, see ya. All right, Ron. Hello, Ed. Hey, it'll take a bit more than dancing to get shot of that lot, won't it? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't look too blue into the leads out yourself, mate. I'll <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Hiya, love. Have you seen Rosie? Yeah, she's over there. Right, now we're going to be a bit wise and... Oh, hiya, love. What are you playing at doing this? Well, I'm just watching, love. Oh, hi. So what are you wearing trainees in this rig out for? And you don't get sweaty by just watching. OK, I'm having a go, but I won't do any harm. I'm taking it easy. Don't worry, she'll be fine. I did it during both my pregnancies. Please, love, Can trust me. Now? Yeah, all right, but I mean it. Don't you go mad. Mm. Oh, and uh, if anyone calls about the alley, tell them it's sold. Uh, who do? David Crosby. All right. All right, Ted. Oh, what's going on here? I'm supposed to be fixing the leaky system in the girls' box. Oh, sorry, we're using it to get changed then. Does Jimmy know about this? No, but Carl Banks does. Sorry, you'll just have to wait. Hey, Sinbad, come on! Move to that feet! Get off! Come on, Sinbad, just how's it done? Yeah, go for it, Sinbad. You could do a flat on that tummy. Do you think I can't? Come on! You're gonna have a baby to look after, so you're gonna have to get rid of that flat. Come, come on! on. Come yeah, on! Bite that flat! Come, come on, you boy! That's it. That's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. What the hell's going on here? Um, step aerobics. Never oh, mind, playing in step aerobics. <laughs> you said they could do it here? Yeah, it's all right, I have got permission. Oh, have you? Who up? That's it, I'm in charge in Barry's absence. Um, of Paul Banks, he is the assistant manager, isn't he? I don't care what he calls himself. He should have got permission off me first. Mind your arms. <laughs> uh, OK, ladies, if you keep moving, I'll just be a few minutes. Do you know what you got to do? Oh, Carl got to tell him about our sessions, didn't he? Oh, decided to keep it quiet, you mean? How much have you made? Everybody's got £80 bookings in advance, not bad, eh? At this rate, I'll be able to tell the legislators to go and stick the job up and meet us. Yeah, what about Carl's commission? If he sees all that cash? Yeah, well, I'm not wasting money I can spend setting up my own business on a lech like him. Yeah, but what if he finds out how much you've made? Well, I won't be telling him. I'm on my way now, Casey. Carl Banks can go and whistle. Great, winning one nil. Oh, good. I think we've got some paddies on the run, you know, Ron. <laughs> I've got all the butties and stuff sorted back there, all ready for half time. Oh, cheers, Ron. Appreciate that. My pleasure, mate. How's your Leo doing? Oh, he's playing his heart out. Mind you, I think he'd be able to run a bit faster if he wasn't wearing Gary's shirt. Yeah. Just generously. It's in memory of Gary. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you're giving up already. Oh, well, when your own kids don't want your help, Nick. Sorry, what was that, Ron? Oh. Kids up here. Go on, Leo. Nice one, son.
actually gone and bought it. Jean! How much did you pay for it? Oh, yeah, this is a sound investment, you know. Eddie let me have it for a terrific price. I could go out tomorrow and sell this thing if I wanted to do and make a fat profit. I mean, this is not just your run-of-the-mill motorcycle. This is a... How much? It really was a very good price, dear. I said, how much? Um, three and a half thousand. Shut up, sand. It'll have to go back. Jeannie can't. We shook hands on the deal. Eddie's desperate to sell because of the new baby. I can't welch on a handshake. Why the hell did you buy it? Well, I... You let Rachel talk you into it, didn't you? Well, she was so enthusiastic and excited. Honestly, David, you'd let that girl wrap you round her little finger. Did she mention appearing in court? No. I think she's avoiding the subject. I think we ought to talk to Mandy about it. But what will Rachel say if she finds out we've been over there? You don't want her running away again, do you? Well, where is she? Oh, she's playing in that football match they've organized for the young lad who died. Right. Then I think we should go and talk to Mandy now. Right, that's three pounds eighty-nine we've taken in seven hours. Stop panicking. But at this rate, we won't be able to pay for your mother's wages or your father's if he decides to help out. You can't expect instant success, Max. Business isn't like that. I know, but what about all that your father was going on about overstocking and everything? I mean, what if we're making a mistake? We're not. No. Doesn't stop me worrying, though, does it? Well, don't. I'm going to place a few more ads this week. We just need another push after the opening day to get us known. We'll have those other branches before you know it. Hi, Jean. I like Bing. Hello, Sam. Please sit down. Uh, get a cup of tea or coffee? Not for me, thank you. No, no thanks. We uh, wanted to talk to you about this letter that Rachel's got. Oh, yes, that. Well, it's something about the new school, isn't it? Not quite. No, actually, it's from the... Oh, it's early, Beth. Mr and Mrs Crosby have just called round to tell us about the letter Rachel got. All right. What was it? Well, we had hoped to talk to you confidentially. Oh? Well, if you mean not in front of me, don't worry. One won't mind, will you? No, of course not. So what's the school say? Well, actually, it isn't anything to do with the school. It's from the Crown Prosecution Solicitor. In fact, Rachel's been asked to give evidence at your trial. But not for you and Beth. For the prosecution. Against them? We thought you ought to know. That's easy pee, please, love. Thank you. All right, Mick. All right, Ron. There you go. Cheers, mate. There's a couple of pussies, Ron. Certainly, sir, as long as you put your money in the bucket. All right. <laughs> so, uh, how's it going, Mick? It could be better. Hey, you heard about the goal, your lad's good. It was a belt already. Probably more like that in the second half, and you'll be laughing, eh? Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> Mrs. Johnson! Yeah? What's up, son? Come quick, it's your Leo, he's fighting. Oh, Leo? Come on, quick. <laughs> Come here. Come, what the hell are you fighting for? I'll kill him. No, you won't. No, what's it all about? He said, Gary, die of AIDS. He said, if I wear a shirt, I'll die too. Why did he have to die? That's why. Why have they asked her to give evidence against us? I don't believe it. What can she say? She wasn't there. She doesn't know anything. It'll be about the abuse. Oh, God. Well, remember what the detective told us about her interview? She said that Dad never laid a finger on her. But he did. Well, I know he did, and you know he did, but Rachel says he didn't. And that's why they'd have called her, to make it out as if we're lying. Well, she wouldn't tell lies against us, surely. Mum, for God's sake, she won't even talk to us, let alone live with us. Of course she's going to tell lies against us. She would. Well, can we stop her? No, we can't. If the prosecution have called her up against us, then that's that. We'll be two liars in the dock who've killed a man for no reason.
Yes, but don't be too long. We're eating later. Oh, well, I'd better get back to the shop and see if we've had any customers. Oh, no, you don't, young lady. You hang those up neatly for Monday morning. Rachel, you mustn't just drop out of school, you know. I want to. I'm old enough to leave now. Maybe you are, but we'll have to talk about it now. Off you go. Well, thank God that's over. Oh, what an ordeal for such a young girl to be put through by a solicitor. Well, she certainly stuck to her story, didn't she? Insisting her father never touched her. I dread what's going to happen to her when a heavy-handed solicitor gets her in the witness box. Oh, I know, Jean. But what on earth can we do? Except give her as much support as we can. Can we go out on the Harley after? Oh, well, I, I, I'm sorry, Rachel. It's, it's uh, not quite ship shape yet. Tomorrow, eh? Mm -hmm. well, what do you have to do to make it ship shape? You were working on it until all hours last night. I was surprised you didn't bring it to bed. Well, there's still the question of insurance. My uh, cover note hasn't arrived yet. But you said it was insured from the minute you phoned up. Yes, but I, I do like anything legal to be absolutely tickety-boo. Tomorrow, all right? Go on, you cut along and see Lee. OK. There she goes. Oh, nothing. Well, you should accept they've stopped. When was the last one? Five days ago, and that was posted in Warrington, and the one before that was from Wigan. So whoever's been writing them has obviously found someone else to persecute. Until the court case, then I'll start again. Hiya. Your Rachel's just blanked me out there. I oh, know, she did the same to me the other day. What's up? She's worrying herself about the hate mail. There hasn't been another one, has there? No, not since last week. I'm just worried they'll start again when the court case begins. Will you tell us, Sinbad? She's got to try and be positive. They've stopped. She's right. You've got to think about all the good things that are happening to you, like the baby. Oh, I lie awake thinking about that. Will they let me off prison if I tell them about it? Will it have to be born behind bars? Well, you mustn't think like that. Mum, you've got to pull yourself together. Think about having our say in court and walking out free. Yeah, that's right. You can't be like this when we're going to the solicitor. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's be positive. Carl? Hey. Um, I was wondering if you could do us a favour. Can you put this up on the club for us? Yeah, no problem. All that's up for me commission, doesn't it? So when do I get it? Well, I haven't actually got the money sorted yet. People pay by cheque and all that. Well, at least you're getting some cash in. Won't be long before you get that car, eh? Yeah, I'm working on it. Hey, listen, I could give you a few lessons if you like. But I'm old fellow's motor. Oh, I remember what happened last time you took me for a drive. How could I forget? Listen, if I want driving lessons, I'll find a teacher who can keep his hands on the wheel. See ya. What is he doing? What's that? David Crosby. He keeps getting on the bike, then starting it up, then he switches it off again. He's done it three times in the last quarter of an hour. Have the flaming battery flat. No, what? See, see, he's done it again. What's up with him? Why don't you nip over, see if he wants an hand? No. Why not? Well, it's down to him now, it's his bike. Well, don't you jump at the chance to get your hands on it again, just for a quick fun. It's not mine anymore, is it? But you wish it still was? <sighs> well, I thought it was a good idea, flogging it to the guy across the road, but I'm not so sure now. Maybe it'd have been better selling it to a stranger or waiting till the next dog fest. I told you not to rush into things. Ah, well. Too late to moan now, isn't it? Time I grew up. I know what it is. He's scared of the flaming thing. You reckon? He must be. If he felt right in it, be off down the motorway on it now, not faffing round like some soft girl. Right to be. Up. There. Is 
Is it all right there? Yeah, that's fine, Tor. Is he going all right, this aerobics thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Look, Jack, I do respect what you said the other day, you know, love, about you wanting to make your own way in life. It's just... Well, it's so hard coming to terms with things. All the family being split up, everybody doing their own thing. But... Well, I want you to know that if you ever do need any help with money or anything... I'm gonna be all right. Yeah. And I'm glad you're trying to get on in life. <laughs> Bit of the old entrepreneur thing, eh? Chip off the old block and all that. <laughs> well, I don't think I'd take after me mum, actually. Look, I've got to get back to the petrol station and see you later. Yeah, uh, there was one thing, love. Um, yeah? Well, I wondered if you could pop round to the house later on. Bev wants the cockloft sorted out. A lot of the stuff up there is yours now, Tony's. No wonder if there's anything you wanted to keep. Um, what sort of stuff? Well, it's all sorts. You know, the stuff was lot used to keep. <laughs> I wouldn't want to throw anything out that was important to you. Okay, I'll pop round later. See you after. Ta-ra, love. Ta-ra. Here you are. You ordered these, I think. Draw liners. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks. How much do I owe you? 375. 375? Well, Patricia did say it was better quality than the ones Ron Dixon's selling. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they are, yeah. They are. Thanks. Now, oh, can I get you anything else? Oh, no, thanks. Actually, I come in to ask you about the motorbike. Oh, that thing. Well, I was dead surprised your David bought it. Not half as surprised as I was. I mean, it's ridiculous at his age. What's he want a damn great bike like that for? Well, the thing is, does he really want it? See, I didn't want Ed to sell it, but he insisted because there's a baby on the way. Now he regrets it. Well, it's not your David's fault, but Eddie's dead miserable, I can tell. Huh? Everything under control, dear? Um, I better get off. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll see what I can do. Ta-ra. Bye. Come on, your new transport. Uh, no, no, I... Uh, there's one or two little things that need sorting out before I actually get on the open road. If you ever do. What do you mean? If you'd really wanted that bike, you'd have been halfway around Britain by now. I want you to give it back to Eddie Banks. What? I want you to give it back to him. We've shaken hands on the deal. It's bought and sold. I've arranged insurance. And now he realises he's made a mistake. A mistake? Yes, so I think it's only fair that you should give it back to him. Well, I suppose that does put rather a different light on things. If it's that important to the man, yes. I knew you'd see sense. Well, off you go. There's no time like the present. Well, it'd be a bit of a wrench, though. I just about got it into tip-top condition. I'm sure he'll be very grateful. Yes, yes, uh, I'm sure. Well, I'd uh, better catch up with him then, hadn't I? I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Right, here's what we agree is I'll be in touch. Cheers. Excuse girls. What's all this? Ale delivery. That's not our usual supplier, who's that? Our new supplier. Since when? No one's told me anything about new suppliers. I only found him this week and he can deliver regularly. Oh, no, he can't. You better bring him up and get him to take that lot back. I can't do that. I've fixed another delivery and I've paid him. You can't do that behind Barry's back. He doesn't like changes unless he's okayed them. Where'd you get the money from, anyway? Out the safe. God almighty, Barry will go spare when he finds out. No way. 50p a bottle, and we can knock him out for nearly two quid a throw. Barry will be quids in. I think you better go and sort those aerobic women out. God knows what Baz will say about them and all. Yeah, well, Barry isn't here, is he? And I'm just using my initiative. So you're going to hook this lot into the storeroom, then? No chance. Do one. I'm having nothing to do with it. Use your initiative, sunshine. You'd better sort out them women, then. I don't get it, Dave. You want to give it back? I haven't even had a proper ride on it yet. <laughs> but why? Well, I knew how you doted on that bike, Eddie, and uh, I thought I was doing you a favor, but uh, then I realized. What? Well, I put myself in your position, son. I mean, how would I feel? 
have I had recklessly sold you my Cortina, and I had to watch you washing it and polishing it and driving off in it every day. I mean, I can't do that to a friend and neighbor. I really can't. Take it back. You really mean that? Yes. If you want to sell it, sell it to a stranger. Spare yourself the daily heartbreak of uh, seeing it in someone else's possession. Are you sure? Absolutely. I do still fancy a Harley Davidson, but if I want one, I can have a good look round somewhere else. Now, I might be able to help you out there, mate. No, 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 no. really. There, there's no hurry. Absolutely not. Tell you what, Mr. Crosby, I'll go and get a motorbike magazine, then we can see what's in the adverts. No, Rachel, really. Um, I, I would have to discuss it with Mrs. Crosby first. She is the boss and all that. Oh, <laughs> there's no harm in looking, though, is there? No, 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 I suppose not. There's all kinds of stuff here. Oh, hey. Look at this. Our Tony's first computer. <laughs> I remember the trouble I'd buy in this one Christmas. I didn't know what I was asking for. It must have been, what, ten the year he got this? Still hurts, you know, Jack. Seeing all his things like this. Remembering. I hate the idea of throwing it away. Well, I can keep it at the flat if you want. Would you, love? Yeah, and I don't mind storing some stuff for you. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> What's in that box? Oh, I am definitely keeping these. <laughs> these for me dad's medals. Pity he's gone, eh? He'd loved all this V Day stuff that's coming up. I think our Michael sold these once. Fifty years on, Jack, you forget what it took for fellas like your granddad to win these. Mm. Well, what's in there? Oh, the plastic bag. <laughs> you remember these? Our Tony's footy programmes. Never threw one away, did he? Well, don't people collect them? Yeah, I know they do. But I'd sooner bin them than let them go to anyone else. Well, I can keep them as well, if you like. Would you, love? Yeah, I don't mind. Thanks. I'm glad you came round. Are you going to stop for a bit of tea? No, I'm going to see how Casey's getting on with this step aerobics class. Employing other people already, eh? Clever girl. Well, maybe another time, eh? Look, Jack, I know what you're thinking, me love, and you've got every right to after what I did to your mum, but... Well, at least give me some hope that we'll get on better in time. Is that too much to ask? Is that a yes? It's a maybe. Gene, surely some of this stuff's a bit too good to just dump. Most of it belonged to some of the previous owners. Let's get it to the tip, for heaven's sake. I didn't expect you back so soon, as a matter of oh, fact. Patricia sent me home. There's nothing doing at the shop. Oh, I do hope they know what they're doing. Uh, would, would you like to go and put the kettle on, Rachel? I'm dying for a cuppa. See, she's done it again. The minute she sees me, she runs. Well, you know you're not meant to speak to her. Not now she's been called as a witness. I'm still a mother, no matter what she's going to say in court. Poor Mandy. Poor Rachel. I feel so sorry for the kid, Jean. All she's had to go through at her age. Now she's got to endure this trial. I mean, we really must make every effort to give her as normal a life as possible while that's going on. Well, how can we? I mean, if Mandy and Beth... Well, well if the worst comes to the worst... She may be taken into care. No, absolutely not. Not now we know her so well. Tea. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Thanks. There's an article in this magazine about a girl who's a mechanic. Do you think I could do that? A mechanic? What on earth would you want to do that for? I don't see why not. Lots of girls work as mechanics these days. Job equality and all that. I just fancy it. And what about Kylie? Kylie? Oh, you know, Kylie Minogue, a neighbour. She was a mechanic. I'd love to do that. Well, how many GCSEs do you need for that? Oh, I didn't think you needed any. Oh, yes, you need qualifications for that sort of job. Vehicles are much more complicated these days, aren't they, Jean? Oh, still, if you went back to school until July, you'd have those qualifications. Rachel, you see, what we're trying to tell you is that, well, we are a bit worried. 
I know you're quite intelligent enough to realize that your mother and Beth may... Well, it's possible they may have to go to prison. You need to be prepared to lead your own life. Perhaps quite some time. So wouldn't it be wise to take those exams before making any other decision? I suppose so, yeah. So, you go back to school then? Yeah, okay. Great. That's a wise decision. Made two there's today, haven't we, David? <laughs> there you go, Dad. Nice to get on your bike back. I'll drink to that, son. Hi, eh? What's all this? A celebration, love. No, I mean, what's this doing here? Davy Crosby decided to give me back. Came up with all sorts of bull like, but the main thing is, it's all mine again. So you're not selling it then? I can't, love. You don't mind, do you? No, love, I don't mind. I didn't want you selling it in the first place. Yeah, Mum, have a drink. I've got to get some yeah. Oh, no, I can't be drinking. I'm pregnant. See ya. See ya, lad. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry about making a show at you that the role makes a little bit. It's just that I, I don't want any harm to come to you with a baby, especially you. I know that, love. I know that's why you thought it best to sell the army. I know you were just thinking about me, but there was no need. So... We've both got our babies to look after now, eh? Tell you what, you look after yours, and I'll look after ours. Uh, All right. <laughs> I'm sorry to have kept you both waiting. Please sit down. Thank you, OK? Now, as you know, I've had a chat with Council, and I want to spend the first part of the meeting going through the transcripts of your interviews with the police. I just want to make sure that you both agree with the statements you made. Again? Look, I appreciate it must be really boring to have to go through it again, but I need... Oh, by the way, I believe uh, congratulations are in order, Mandy. I believe you're pregnant. Who told you that? Your daughter Rachel has been called by the prosecution. I presume you know that. Yeah. Well, she's been interviewed by the CPS. And she told them about the baby. The prosecution solicitor told me. Look, I appreciate that you may have wanted to keep this news to yourselves, but I must impress on you the importance of telling me everything. Do you understand? Are there any other little surprises that I should know about? Or shall we get on? I am on your side, you know. Um, excuse me, Mr. Crosby. Hello there. I couldn't that mouse isn't all that stuff. Are you throwing it out? Well, personally, I think a lot of this is too good to dump. Mrs. Crosby wants it on the tip. Oh, God, no. It's too good for that. Um, do you mind if I have it? What do you want it for? Well, I was hoping to get to this car boot sale in Preston next week, but I haven't got a car. Yes, I can see that might be a problem. Well, I am trying to get a car of my own, but I've no chance unless I make some extra money. Very enterprising, Jackie, but it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation, isn't it? I mean, you can't very well have a car boot sale if you haven't got a car. Yeah, but what if you drove me up there? I could sell all this stuff for you and we could split whatever we got. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, can I come, Mr. Crosby, please? Hang on, I haven't said I'm going yet. And it'll be a change to Mangum round here. A bit of a day out. Oh, yeah, come on, let's go. What day is it on? Tuesday. Well, you'll be back at school by then. Oh, yeah. All I'm working for is a car of my own, and it'd be a great help if you could get me started. And you could make some money to put towards a Harley. I don't know about that, but uh, I would sooner sell some of this stuff than simply throw it away. Ah, oh, thanks very much. That's great. Uh-uh, don't get carried away. I've got to check with Mrs. Crosby first. But she said you've got to get rid of it. She won't mind. It'll be a change for you, Mr. Crosby. I'll come round and let you know what time I want to go and everything. And thanks very much. See ya. See ya. Don't you think we're getting a bit overstocked now? Oh, I've been doing a few projections. I think it might be worth diversifying. What, more stock? Well, yeah, I can't help but notice Ron Dixon's place. I mean, he really does pile them high and sell them cheap. I know we wanted a good image, but I think it might be a good idea expanding our lines, even if it does mean going down market a bit. Going into competition with Clampett? Well, I draw the line at selling bread and dog food. <laughs> no, I mean, the kind of gear he has in those baskets, you know? Mm -hmm. Lost leaders to draw the customers in. Well, as long as you're sure, but be careful. I will be. Well, as long as we make more profit. 
God. My credit card bill. It looks like we'll have to make some money a little faster. Well, it's that blasted widescreen television. I forgot about that. You've been using plastic to pay for my stock. Do you think we should get out before we get deeper in debt? No, Max. It's gone too far. I'm not giving up. We've got the brains to do it. And for God's sake, if him next door can do it, surely we can. So you don't dispute anything that you've read in the transcripts? Mandy? Beth? I know exactly where we stand. I don't know what I want to say in court. Well, as you know, we've got Paul Anderson QC, who is first class in cases of domestic violence. So that's the good news. Now, we've been through the first part of the evidence. I now need to discuss with you our strategy and tactics. In the circumstances, and here I have to be blunt, we believe that your best option, Mandy, is to plead guilty to manslaughter. Now, if this is accepted, the conspiracy charges might be dropped, and you could get a much reduced sentence, even perhaps a suspended. No, absolutely not. But this is the considered opinion of a very experienced counsel. I don't care. She's not pleading guilty to anything. We did what we did because it had to be done, and that's precisely what I'm going to tell the courts. I'm not having any clever dick barrister persuading us to go against the truth. She didn't have diminished responsibility. She had no choice. Beth, stop it. No, Mum, I'm not playing these legal games. We're pleading not guilty. It wasn't murder, it was self-defence. You conspired to murder him. You can't take the law into your own hands. And it's far better if We're you... We're pleading not guilty. Well, whatever you're pleading, Beth, you need to keep a better hold of your emotions. Because the clever dick barrister for the prosecution will be trying to make you lose your cool every inch of the way. React like that and you're going to look brilliant, aren't you? I mean, you might feel like giving out your heartfelt speech, but they'll turn it against you. The aggressive little murderer who flies off the handle at the drop of a hat. That's exactly what they want. The Jimmy Corkill story is out now, priced £4.99 and available from most bookshops. Right, I'm going to have a little look around the town and maybe have a browse around that big sale down the road. So I'll meet you back here in, say, uh, four hours. Um, Mr Crosby, you couldn't help us set out the stuff first, help us get organised. I mean, the more attractive it looks, the quicker it's going to sell. Look, Jackie, I've done my bit. I promised to drive you here, and now I'm clocking off. I've got some shopping to do for Mrs Crosby. Mr Crosby, aren't you worried about us? Sorry. Well, we're a long way from home, and me and Katie, well, we're just two young defenceless girls in a strange town. Yeah, well, I don't know if we're going to get molested here. Well, who knows what kind of weirdos are here. And I just thought we'd feel a bit safe with you here, eh, Mr Crosby. Oh, come on. Katie's right. I'm sure you're not going to come to any harm here. Oh, OK, then. 
You go and have a good time. And thanks for the lift. Tip you wouldn't about us, we'll manage somehow. Well, look, I mean, if you're really worried, I suppose I could stay for a little while. Oh, thanks, Mr. Crosby. You're the star, isn't it, Katie? Yeah, the star. Right, so we'll see you after then. But hang on. What about all this stock? It won't be long. We're just going to check out the opposition and see what's happening. Just a minute. We'll let anyone rip it off and stick to the asking places. We'll see you later. Oh, good luck. What? Excuse me. Damn. What? What are these? But, uh... I'm going to school today. I don't feel well. I don't you know. What is it this time? Something requiring major surgery? But I just don't feel well. Well, then the walk to school will do you good. Well, will you write us a note? Oh, really? And say what? That you're sick? How many times have you tried this recently? But I don't feel well. Don't you care? Listen, sir. I know you're upset over Gary. We all are. But life goes on, Lee. I mean, Gary wouldn't want you moping around missing school. He'd want you to get on with it. Hey. This is good, lad. Look, let's get your swimming gear and the plastic bag. When you get to school, everything will be better. Okay, if you've got everything, then you get off to school and have a good day, eh? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, Dad. All right, sir. Oh, and listen, don't worry about things. Everything will be fine, you'll see. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. You've got enough bunting to reach the end there. You must be joking. Let Lady Farnham tart her own shop up. She's gonna put in these baskets there. I couldn't give her monkeys, Jack. Hey, don't leave the lad there. Something posh, I bet. She's got some lovely stuff in there, you know. Yeah, but who's gonna buy that kind of stuff round here? Jackie, love, there's a wobble here. Will you stop nosing and come and hold this for me? I've heard that before. What's it for, Mr. Dixon? V celebration, son. The war in Europe ended 50 years ago. Hey, the Second World War, that is. Don't, don't wave your arms about, you fool! Leo, school. See you later. Oh, I'm just seeing the sort of stuff that seems to be selling well. Hey, there's loads of cars here, isn't there? I bet whoever's running this is making a mint. Hey, you're never sure of a few bob with two jobs. What about me, a poor student? Oh, well, that's hard taking pissy on you, and I'm letting you earn some money by helping me with this in the aerobic sessions. You know, can't take too much time off now. I've got my exams this term. Oh, you'll be all right. Yeah, but what about you? You can't keep going on the section of the legends every time you want to do something know. like this. Oh, yes, I can. It's their problem if they want to knock me back for promotion. Yeah, well, just be careful. Hiya, yeah, we're back. Oh, at last. Where have you been? I thought you weren't going to be a few minutes. I'm sorry, Mr. Crosby. Um, we've got about the time. Right, well, I've done my bit. I'm off in search of some much needed refreshments. Well, I was just going to nick the loo. I won't be at it. Really? This is too much. I agreed to give her a lift, not to act as a lackey for the day. Join the club, Mr. Crosby, because when Jackie wants something to there's no arguing with her. Haven't so much, have you? Sin, how you doing? All right, Jimmy. Not long to go, eh? Two weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, don't forget, you know, anything I can do to help, any advice, anything like that, you know. Me being experienced in the ways of the law, so to speak, you know. Yeah. What sort of advice, Jim? How to bribe the judge? Hi, hi, Patsy. Nice little place you've got here, kid. You get much customer, what? Yes, thanks. Okay. We've got rejects stamped on the bottom. Yeah, I know. It's just a line to attract the customers. A word of advice, love. From what he knows, you know. Don't be flogging dodgy mugs. What if the handle comes off when someone's having a nice hot cup of cocoa, eh? Yes, thanks for the advice. Uh, Any time, love, you know, don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. Anything to help, that's me. <laughs> Jackie! Jackie! Here a minute. Here. Eh. Uh... Ron, is it okay if I nip out front for a sec? Yeah, all right, love. Go on, I'll hold the fort. So. I don't know why she stays with him, you know, Sin. I really don't. He should have been strung up for what he did to our Tony, flaming murderer. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Sin. Oh, uh, you're all right, 
So, uh, how are things on that front? How do you reckon the girls will do in court? Well, it's hard to say. But if there was any justice in this world, them girls would get a medal for what they did. Yeah. Point taken, mate. Thanks. Oh! Talking about medals, I dug me old fella's war gongs out last night. I was thinking about putting them up on display for the VE celebrations, what do you think? Good idea, yeah. So he was a war hero, was he, Raffaele? Certainly was, Sin. God, the stories he told us when we were kids. Do you know, he once killed eight men single-handed. Laid his own life down on the line for his country. Yeah, well... Maybe Mandy and Beth should have told the court that they did it for the country as well. They'd have walked away as national heroes then. See you, Ron. <laughs> Ta-da, Sin. Thanks for the ladders. Did you get any news about Mandy and Beth? I mean, any juicy gossip? He knows a lot more than he's letting on. I reckon he's in it right up to his neck. God only knows how he got off with it, though. Eighty. Ninety. A hundred. There you go, kid. One hundred smackaroonies. You indulge yourself, go and buy something nice to wear, eh? This is death off the horses, Jim. Nothing dodgy. Jack, Jack, oh ye of little thing. Stop worrying about it, take her, enjoy it, eh? We'll say it makes a change. My wardrobe thinks it's his birthday lately. Yeah, well, you deserve it, don't you? Hey. Mm. I'll see you later. Yes. Yeah, Come on, girl. Hey, I'll make us a nice tea, shall I? Yeah, yeah. Jim. Thanks, love. Come on. Any of that going spare? What? Jimmy's just treating me, isn't he? Again? It's only last week you were parading round in loads of new gear. Hey, it's not knock-off or anything. The first time in his life he's on a lucky streak, so I'm just making the most of it while it lasts, because knowing Jimmy it won't. But well, go on, then. Where's the cash cow? Hey? Oh, pff, no, it's the horses. He's got a mace on the inside, you know, at the racetrack or something. Found a foolproof winning system. Oh, Wish I was a kept woman. <laughs> hey, Jack. Hey. These mugs are all right, aren't they? What do you reckon? They're nice. They are nice, aren't they? Very good price and really good quality, too. Uh, put them down, my lady. Don't even think about it. Driver lessons, we wouldn't have to bother you again. We could just borrow your car and do the car boots on our own. No, thank you. I've already wasted quite enough of my time ferrying you to Preston back. Not to mention an impromptu stint as a market trader. Yeah, but you were good, and if you just sold a bit more, I could let you have a cut of the profits. No, thank you. I think I'll just put today down to experience. Right, shall I take that as a no to driving lessons then? For your information, the only person driving that car will be me. Now, good day to you both. Yeah, see you, Mr. Crosby. God, you know, I'll push your luck sometimes. No good, isn't it? Oh, well, looks like I just have to pay for some proper driving lessons now. Hi, Charles. Bing, David, can you have a word? Oh, Lord, what now? I'm glad I could. Look, Simba, I really do need to get in. I've got an awful lot of things to catch up with. I just wanted to say thanks on behalf of Mandy for persuading Rachel to go back to school. Oh, well, in the event, she went back quite cheerfully. I just hope she settles in before the trial gets underway. Yeah, well, uh, that's really why I'm here. I just wanted to speak to her. I know it's not on. No, I'm afraid it's not. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even think of it, but the thing is, the way things are, it's looking pretty grim. And anything she says in court could have a bad effect on things. Well, I understand your dilemma, but I don't think it's wise. I mean, if you got back to the powers that be that a witness had been interfered with, what you have to understand, Sinbad, is that Gina and myself have been entrusted with Rachel's well-being. We are her guardian, so to speak. I just wanted to point it out to her. The implications for Beth and her mum. See, Rachel hasn't thought this through. She's just a kid. Exactly. She's a child and needs to be protected. You think about it. Do you really want to put this pressure on her after all she's been through? I think she could be torn apart. I wouldn't want that on my conscience, I can tell you. We're desperate, Bing. 
I appreciate that, Sinbad. But look, even if I were to allow it, I'm pretty sure Rachel won't want to talk to you. Look, now that she's settled in, it really is best to leave things. I'm sorry, Elsa. Son, did you forget something? I'm sorry. I uh, I forgot my swimming stuff. Miss wouldn't let me go back for it. Wouldn't she? Oh, do you want to have a word with her? No. You forgot it on purpose, didn't you? Yeah. Is it Gary? It's because of what happened to him. I'm scared to go back in the water, Dad. You won't make me, will you? Nobody's going to make you do anything. I'll see to that. Look, you are allowed to be scared, you know. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone's scared sometimes. Even the gladiators. Even me. No, you don't. You're me dad. Listen, I, uh, I never told anybody this before, so it's our secret. But when I was your age, I used to be scared of the dark. Get lost. Go straight up. See, I knew you'd laugh. No, uh, it was horrible. So when I lay in bed at night, I used to imagine all sorts. I used to think that there was something sleeping under the bed, but I couldn't look. I couldn't tell anybody down at school, because they'd only give me down the bench for So I had to keep it to myself, bottle it up, like you're doing. Then, you grow up, and you look back, and you realize how stupid it all was. Still can't look, though. Listen, son. It makes me sad when I think about Benny. But he didn't drown. It was this virus thing he had. That's what he died from, not drowning. So you're gonna make me go back in the water? No. Yeah. I'll sort it out with Miss. But I want you to promise me, son. If there's anything on your mind, anything at all, don't bottle it up. You see it all, Dad. You share your problems, right? Right. Yeah. Hey. Sweat. Yeah. Just trying to lose a few pounds so I can fit in the witness box. Uh, any news from Rachel? I haven't seen her. I think she's gone back to school. Oh, that's something else, I suppose. I thought she was leaving. Bing and Jean persuaded her to stay. Why are you going to try again later? Well, there's no point, is there? I mean, it's like Bing said. She's a witness for the prosecution now. We can't go anywhere near her. So we're just going to let her go into court and tell a whole pack of lies about a wonderful dad? Well, that's it then. We're finished, aren't we? It's not over until it's over. I don't know who Crosby thinks he is anyway. It's got nothing to do with him. He's just stuck in the middle, that's all. Oh, poor him. And meanwhile, we face life imprisonment for murder with no one to stand up for us in court. I'll be there. I'll tell them what he did. I saw your dad better than your mum, didn't I? You've got to be careful not to incriminate yourself. <sighs> You're looking out to be standing in the dock next yeah, to I us. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, Beth. All right, Beth. How are you, mate? Those things. Mm, another perfect day in paradise. Not that bad, eh? Listen, do you fancy a coffee upstairs while the girls are out? Yeah, go on, lighten up. Try and put a smile back on her face for us, will you, mate? Come on. See you later. See ya. Yes, Jimbo. How are you diddling, kid? Yeah, <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah, sound. Hey, listen, uh, how was that gear for you last week? All that good? Pleased to hear it, mate. Same again this week, is it? Yeah, of course, it's the same price. You're one of my best customers, mate. OK, listen, I'll drop the gear off. Same place, same time, OK? All right, pleasure doing business with you, kid. See ya. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, hello, Jackie. Yeah, no, love, I won't be late. Don't be worried, I'll see you later. What are you doing sneaking around like that, coming in here? Look what you've made me do. It's your own fault. You shouldn't be dossing here anyway, and I don't intend to clean that up. Hey, I've just been checking up on the place for me boss, and I just thought I'd have my lunch out while I was about it. So what were you doing on the phone, then? Jackie <laughs> phoned. She, uh, she told me not to be late home for me tea. She's cooked something special for me. Oh, all right. It's quick. I only saw your Jack in the shop about five minutes ago. You are? Unless you've got a twin. Or you're telling me porkies. You don't need to lie to me, Jimmy. I know what you're up to. Wasn't your Jack you were on the phone to, then? No. And I know where you're getting all your money from as well. Do you? Well, don't worry. Your little secret's safe with me. Is it now? Well, it could be. If you let me in on your little dealings. You are? Let you in, you've got to be joking, haven't you? Don't take a hairy one. Your Jackie's told me all about it. Jackie knows? Yeah. So go on, then. Watch your system. How do you win all this money on the horses? <laughs> the horses? Oh, yeah, the horses. <laughs> Two weeks today, then, eh? Yeah. You know what? I've heard of cases like this before, you know, where a woman's had no other option but to defend herself and kill the Ralph fella. I mean, the courts are sympathetic sometimes. There's even cases where women just get probation. Who are you trying to convince Mike, me or you? <laughs> Both of us, actually, but you do stand a good chance. You were only defending yourself, weren't you? Yeah, but the prosecution's not going to see it like that. They're going to say that we planned it and that we killed him in cold blood, so it was premeditated. Yeah, but it was obvious to everyone what he was like. What was it? I mean, who really saw what he was like? The courts are only interested in listening to people who actually saw something. I'll tell you what really worries me. They've called Rachel as a witness for the prosecution. How come? I mean, what can she say? Surely she can't deny that your mum got beat up. Yes, she can. She will. Rachel could never see any bad in her dad, and... no matter what he did. Yeah, but... Look, my, it wasn't just the beatings. There was more. You'll know in two weeks, anyway, the whole world will. The beatings, they weren't the only kind of abuse. You what? You mean the, um... Yeah. First me, years ago, and then, um, Rachel. And that's why we had to get rid of him, to stop him from doing it again, to protect her. Well, can't you just tell the court that? Surely, if they had. It's not that simple. <sighs> Can't you see? That's why the prosecution have called Rachel to the stand. She's denied that anything's even ever happened. <sighs> and I don't know what to do. Come here. I really don't know what to do, Mike. What are you doing here? You don't live here anymore. Well, um, where'd you go? Right. See you. I thought you wouldn't mind if we came up here for a coffee. She's going through a rough time at the moment. Ah, oh, well, me heart bleeds for her. Michael, she's up for murder. Don't get involved. She's a mate. Oh, what sort of mate? The sort that dumb shouldn't then cops off with another girl. You want to stay out of that? Look, she's got no one and she's turned to me for help. You just help yourself and stay well out of it. I have got a good little system. The more who know it, it won't be a system, will it? Cos everyone will be in on it. That's slide, that is. I'd let you in on it if it was me. Oh, go on, Jim, just one tip. One, I'll be off your back. All right, all right. Never kick an Alsatian in the ghoulies. All oh, right, Jimmy! Right, I'm out of here. Come see a man about a nose. Come on, cracks, go uh, on, How about this mess? Who's gonna clean this up? Well, you're the cleaner, aren't you? Do what you do best. Clean. See ya. Come on, Gil. Hey, boy, your jockeys fall off. Didn't do too bad at the car boot. I think I'll make this a regular thing. Might even get a bit of stock from my dad's cash and carry. I thought you already had two jobs. What do you want another one for? Because I'm undervalued at the leisure centre. And I want to make a bit of extra money, that's why. 
With this and the aerobics going well, plus my job at the garage, I reckon I'll be able to tell him to go and stick the job. I'll be minted. You don't want to be giving up a good job like that, Jackie. Oh, God, you sound just like me dad, Mr. Security. What's wrong with a bit of ambition? Nothing. I'm just saying be careful, that's all. Well, I don't think it's me who should be careful. It's you. Why'd you let Beth get to you after all she did? She's not getting to me. She's a mate. And all that stuff about her being gay doesn't bother me. Yeah, well, it bothers me. The thought of it turns me stomach. I don't expect you to understand, but if you got to know her, you'd find out she's a nice person. Yeah, well, I don't want to get to know her thanks very much because I prefer fellas. Yeah, yeah, we all know that. But all this stuff in the paper about them being man-haters and that's why they killed them, it's not true. They had no choice. Oh, and how do you know? She must hate men if she's a lesbian. And how do you know that isn't why they killed him? Because I know that's why. He was up to all kinds. He was a right get and they had to kill him. Yeah, well, it's up to judge and jury now, isn't it? Well, they've got no one to speak up for them, to say what he did. Stuck then, aren't they? Not necessarily. I was, um, I was thinking maybe I could be a witness for them. You are? You didn't even see anything? I know, yeah, but maybe I could say I did. Oh, and well, what are you going to do that for? I could say I called around there one day. I saw him and Beth. He was hitting her and that. I was too scared to say anything at the time, but I just wanted to come forward now. Mike, you've lost it completely. You do that lying court. Get into loads of trouble for her. A day. After all she did to you. Look, the knackered otherwise. Her and the mum could end up going away for life, and I don't think they deserve to. Yeah, well, that's up to the court to decide, not you. They murdered a fella, buried him in the yard, and then went on the run. Do you want that to happen to you? I can't just sit back and watch. I've got to do something about it. No. You won't do anything. You're listening to me, Mike. Because I won't let you do this. <laughs>